Right. Water's going to come out, pressure's going to relieve. 15 sixteenths. Oh, that's what it is. See how it doesn't fit? Yeah. It's because this thing moves. This whole thing is just, it's just a rubber line with a lot of sealant behind there. Oh, okay. So, what you know, what normally what I do is get it in about this position here and I just lift up on it and turn it a little bit and then work it on and then keeping pressure on it because I don't want to strip anything out. It looks like that was in there all that straight to begin with. It wasn't, what, it wasn't straight at all. What, even when I took it out, it came out crooked. Yeah, I got another one I'm going to throw in there for you, okay? We'll give you a brand new one. That works. And that way it'll... 15 sixteenths, huh? Yep. And, uh, Normally, if you use a deep well, it's better, but somebody grabbed my deep well. I haven't figured out who's got it yet. Around here, that happens a lot. It's not done on purpose. Yeah, what I actually did is I took that out, and then as we drove back home from Pennsylvania, I had that plug just setting in here, and that way, when it would rock and stuff, yeah, if there was any water, out. it would yeah. get it out. Yeah, that's great. Same way with the low points. I undid the low points and See drove... the hardness in the yeah. water? Now, your tank is treated. That's why you don't have an anode. Uh, being treated, this stuff stays in the water, you know, it just flows out like when you do there. It won't eat up your tank, good. which is really good, and you don't need to replace that anode all the time, which is really nice. But at that point, once you get that out, you're going to have water flowing out, and then you just let it drain. Now, we know we've got the hot water heater drained, but what we have to do is bypass it, because right. when we put coolant in, this thing will hold six gallons. We don't want to put six gallons of coolant in there. It'll just cost you money. So the next thing we're going to do is find the bypass. I love it. Um, I'm probably going to need my gun. I don't think I left it in here. Yep, I did. Good. All right, so we know our hot water heater is down in this corner. So I popped out the drawers. And I'm just showing you this because right. you can use this for any. You can help somebody else. Okay. Um, normally, you go outside, you determine where it is, and then sometimes it's under the seat. You know what I mean? Sometimes uh, the kitchen will be on the side and the hot water heater will be underneath your sink. It just depends. On yours, everything is right here in the open. Okay? Now, these valves, um, how can I put this to you? They're kind of line of sight valves. If the ends are pointing in a specific direction because they're oval, then that's the direction of water flow. You follow what I'm saying? Right. So right now, if you look at that valve, the water's flowing right through it and going into the hot water okay. heater. We want to bypass it. So we're going to turn this valve. It turns towards you, right? Right. Now, if you look, there's one, a line that's connecting the blue and the red. See them? Right. That's your bypass line. Right now, that's shut off. See how it's sideways? Okay. We're going to open that to bypass it. And now, there's one of these on the blue line at the bottom. Right. And we're going to want to shut that valve so that it's not in line with the hose, so that it's straight up and down like that okay, one. Okay, perfect. Okay, now that's bypassed. Okay. Now you're gonna leave it like this with the drawers out until we're done, and then you're gonna put them back after you're all done so that in springtime, you don't have to do this. All oh. you have to do is put water through the system. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna prime the system with coolant, and then we're gonna reset the water heater up in line. Now if a little bit of coolant goes in there, that's not a big deal. Or antifreeze, excuse me, coolant. You can tell I worked on cars for a long time. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's so we, we did our bypass on that. Now we have to determine where the water pump is. Um, usually they put it someplace that's fairly accessible. So what we're going to do is. So that's. I'm going to do the ear that's, test. That's down there, I think. It may be. I think it's I think it's outside. You talking about where it says fresh water in uh, shore? No, there's you're gonna have your water pump is gonna have a bypass hose on it. Oh, there is a hose out there. Um, and if, if normally they put it, um, the water pump is usually inside the unit so that it won't freeze up too easily. It's a little hard to hear it in here. I'm going to take a peek behind these drawers. That's where they like to put it. But that has a that has a separate uh, a separate hose, right? That you could connect into. Yes. Well, it, it, it's got it, it'll have a hose that comes from the uh, water tank, and it'll have a valve on it, and then it'll have a hose. Yeah, I think that's out here. 
Okay, well, I'll need my gun probably if it's in the compartment. Behind this board, because if you reach around, there's a hose back over there. See the hose hanging? Yeah, but see, you also have to have to get at the valve. Right, so that's behind. I understand it's behind here. Yep, I, we got it. I believe it is. Let's see, do I have my handy dandy Robertson? I got a video saved on YouTube called Phillips and Robertson, the story of the screwdriver. <laughs> and I didn't know what a Robertson bit was before I came here. We just called them square bits, you know, in factory work. Is that Sometimes what it you'd is? run into them and they'd be, you know, oh, it's a square bit. But uh, it's actually called a Robertson bit. And I want to find out why, so I'm going to I'm gonna watch that video. And find out why Phillips won out instead of Robertson. Just like Tesla and Edison. Show you your your line that you gotta turn the valve on so that you can antifreeze. Now see this is your line, see it? Yep. And it's coming to this valve. Okay. So what you want to do is point, remember I said line of sight? Mm -hmm. You gotta turn the valve in the back. You can't see it right now, but it's it's sitting out like this. And it's got a point on it, and I just pointed it to this hose, because okay. that's your antifreeze hose. So it's right back here. Okay. So go ahead and reach in there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll hold it, but I want you to try to reach in there and feel that valve on the back oh, yeah. of there. Okay, yeah. you understand? Yep. Got it. Okay, so that's basically just making sure that when you turn on the pump, it's now going to pull from this hose rather than your tank. Rather than this tank here. Right. So, and I, I did hook this up when I came by the Yeah, unit there's two of them. There's one Because there you got to remember these are so important. These will leak into the unit and they will cause problems. Um, these freeze up the quickest of all of them. So now that we're all set there, I'm going to grab our hose and I'm actually going to oops, I'm trying to pop it out here if I can. I'd rather have it over here. If I have enough, I like to put it on the ground, but I do not have enough. So See, there's a little bit of 83 still left in it. In the meantime, I'm gonna have to go grab a knife because yours, I don't know why they do this, but they put this end on that won't fit inside these. <laughs> now it's nice because you can cap it, but you think they would have made it without these fins because without the fins, if it just had ribs on it, you could easily slide it in there. But they left those big fins on there, so I gotta cut the top so that I can get this in there. Oh. It's nuts. But in the meantime, I'm just going to put this right down through there so that it doesn't leak out. Yeah, I normally use three. So we only charge for two. But I don't quite use the end of the third. So we lose a little bit, but I feel better about the units that go out. Yeah, we've already had temperatures at home in the 20s. Right, well, that's kind of why I wanted to do this yeah. right now, too, because the unit is thawed right now. It's probably at its peak. So now's the time to get at her. And uh, yeah, I ran, uh, I ran the heater in this thing all night last night. <laughs> that was really good thinking. A lot of people yeah, don't think I, to do that. I, I've been replacing stuff all like Monday. That's all I did. No, I ran the heater uh, from Tuesday, about ten o'clock last night until I started hooking it up today at uh, five thirty in the morning. Well, I replaced two outside faucets and I got to replace a water pump because they all froze. Um, one outside shower um, head and one inside shower head because they froze. Okay, so we got two gallons ready to go. So basically we set the valve, we put this in the tube, make sure you're on city water, not tank fill. And you don't have a button here for your water pump, sometimes they do. So now we're going to turn on the water pump and we're going to run the system. Now 
always go one, one at a time. I start with the coal, and I let it run all the water out. Now you can see that the antifreeze is starting to come through. I'm going to stop, and I'm going to run the other one. See how it got real yep. watery? Yeah. pick the right faucet um, you want the one that comes the farthest first if you can grab it now that wasn't the finish on those no I just started it you know what I mean so I want it to be a lot pinker than that when when I call it good so but I get everything going I try to get the pink flowing to every see it just jumps right up into pink that means we filled that whole system good so we know we got pink once we have a little bit of pink coming through everything, then I'm going to start running them and making sure that it's nice and good, really dark. You want it to be. We dark didn't make it easy possible. for you, did we? No, it's okay. <laughs> People use these things, you know. I understand that. Well, was anybody? I actually like to see a unit that people are actually using. Got a nice amount of pink out of that. Here's our water. Yeah, we got a nice amount of pink out of that. So we got a couple of cool it through there. That's all set. Oops. Let's do this again. I want to see that side. See, that's got ice in it. That's why it's doing that. The, the line has some ice in it. Does it's, it? Yeah, and the, this is an alcohol. It's melting it as it goes. So it should be coming out a little bit steadier than that from that sink. So something tells me that along the line somewhere, there's quite a bit of ice in there. But we'll get it all out and it'll be fine. Now we're going to come do this one. Oh, geez, I wonder how much stuff she's got. Oh, that's okay. Here. Everybody, that's oh, where they, everybody see. puts their stuff. <laughs> I just... I just hope people don't get mad that I move it out of the way and put it back. No. That's all because you gotta. I hate to touch. Gotta do what you stuff. gotta do. <laughs> I remember one of the first times I worked on a unit. They brought it and the people had left their dishes on the counter instead of in the sink. And on the way, the dishes had flown out and smashed all over the floor. And I was petrified when I opened the unit and saw that. I was like, I don't think I did this. But they were such nice people. The woman immediately, when we said it, said, Oh my God, I left them on the counter. I left them on the counter. She goes, it's my fault. And I was like, oh, that was so nice of her. Because she could have said anything. She could yeah. have said, I don't know anything about that. I want new dishes. Right. But she, she was honest. So I picked up all the dishes and put all the pieces together and put them there, you know. Okay, so we got uh, pink coming through everything. Um, I'm going to wait before I dump this because I want to run probably that third gallon because I just didn't like how it was coming out. It's coming out a little bit slow. Run the extra gallon through there because I just don't trust it. It seems like the system fills up a little bit, probably just in the lines underneath. And you're running the heat kept them from freezing solid. Yeah, it's uh, this has a heater under the belly, so. Yeah, everything worked out great because it's in decent shape. Nothing's giving me a hard time. I've been doing a lot of units where they've been pretty messed up because they froze really, really bad. You have to be careful. My ex wife is staying with me because she's not doing so well and she's a worry wart. I can't come home with band-aids. Okay, so we got one last gallon on here. We'll start right here. Let's see how this one works. Okay. 
and there's an outdoor shower too. Let's hit that one. Do you need to do the outdoor shower also or not? Yes. Okay, so there's one on the other end on the opposite side. Okay, it's probably got a 750 water key. Yeah. Awesome. I like the spray port. This was an idea that we bought in front. I also like the uh, gas quick connects that they have now. Those are nice too. Okay, now this is going to have some coolant in it. Oh, look at that. See, now it's water. And now it's back to coolant. So you got to wait for that. Yeah. Because the hose we just used it was full of coolant already. Or, excuse me, antifreeze. Okay, so all of our outside. Let's hold this open. And it lets gravity feed that out. And it just placed any moisture inside here, so you right. can leave this outside a little. A little crack on the area of it. Okay. So that's pretty much it. We used all three gallons. We had good pink stuff coming out everywhere. I, I'm pretty confident we're, we're good to go. So now. You want to move this valve and you turn back. it back right you turn the valve yep. back so it's actually going to be pointed up and down right so i don't have to do anything in the spring right in the springtime all you got to do is put water to her and get the pink out you want me to leave this out you might want to um, Try to put you know, a gallon back there and just reach in here. I don't know. But I can leave it out. Yeah, you can do whatever. It won't, whatever you want. I'll leave it just whatever the way it was. And that way you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So I'm just gonna... This is pretty easy because it's got the little bit of sealant where they had sealed the corner here. Uh -huh. So you know that side goes down. 